the Federal Elections Commission, but they've got some issues too, right? right? That, that is a big if. I mean, the right. Federal Election Commission, they actually uh, need enough members. Everything's on hold right now because Federal Election Commission needs six people. Right now they've got three. So oh, wow. they don't even have enough people to actually have a vote on whether to launch an investigation. But if they were to do that, then what? What's next? Well, we turn to a guy who teaches campaign finance. So there's a difference between saying maybe not disclosing properly versus was it an inappropriate um, campaign expenditure. Hamlin University's Dave Schultz says the best situation for Representative Omar is that she has to redo some of her paperwork with the Federal Election Commission. If so, require um, Ilhan Omar's campaign to make an appropriate disclosure, maybe a fine. Um, that that would be the minimum, okay. Um, Omar is gonna have to respond to the FEC if there's an, if there's an investigation here. In best case scenario, she's allowed to like file an amended campaign report right. that takes care of all of this. Yes, right. Uh, worst case is it could get dragged into deeper investigation. Right, possible criminal investigation, possible house ethics investigation. So those are the worst case scenarios. Schultz says Omar's campaign spending on Tim Minette's company, E Street Group, may eventually be deemed appropriate if she can explain what services were performed. But the divorce petition filed by Manette's wife alleging a romantic affair between Manette and Omar will catch the attention of the FEC. Campaign funds, you don't have those same issues, but you do have still the question of that if I'm giving you money for the purposes of, of not something that's campaign related. Her defense might be, uh, it's none of your business. The, the, I, I hired him for to do a job and this money was part of him doing that job. Correct, correct. But still, she might have to, at some point, uh, provide more detail to the FEC in terms of what was the nature of the services that he provided. Because for them to be able to resolve the complaint, she might have to say, I paid him X number of thousands of dollars to provide campaign consulting or strategy or something like mm -hmm. that. So she's gonna probably have to provide more um, than simply telling the FEC, it's none of your business. If it's starting to intermingle uh, her personal life and campaign funds, this transforms the issue to something where there's a legitimate public interest in finding out if campaign funds are being spent for inappropriate purposes. In the meantime, it's clear that Omar is politically safe in her fifth congressional district. In a district where she wins 70% plus of the vote, the most solidly democratic district in the country, probably doesn't damage her, her too much at this point, but clearly it becomes the constant churning politically um, that keeps her on the defensive. Now, Omar's attorney asserts the complaint itself is flawed because they're, they're saying payments to consulting firms don't require the same itemized disclosure that payments that individuals do. So on a political level, though, this group, the National Legal and Policy Center, has already chalked up a win because of all the attention this is getting. And yeah, Jana, a lot of ifs. If the FCC ever gets enough people to take a vote, if they decide to take this investigation up right. and do an investigation, then you know the, the if will be how does she respond? How right. does Omar respond? There's a lot of moving parts to these stories. And one thing I, I want to make clear, because this was a little confusing to me this morning as, as well, the FEC only recently went down to this number of people. Right. I just saw the CNN article this on Monday. They can't do investigations into election spending by right. anybody right now. They exactly. don't have enough people. So Inclu how do they get more people? Uh, the, they, they have to be appointed uh, by the president and okay. confirmed by the U.S. Senate. And, and the president right now faces some of his own campaign issues over hush money, alleged hush money right. paid to, to different people So out of campaign funds. If the president names someone to the FEC, it still has to go through Congress, too, or the Senate, right? For the Senate, yeah. So this could take some time. Oh, yeah, it could take some time. We could be talking about this after she wins another election. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so sure. much, John. Lots of moving parts, again, on that story.